In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to turn this into this. Alright guys, welcome back to another Final Cut Pro X tutorial. I'm here to show you some extremely cool effects right here. So this is the plain image and then this is what it looks like after I add the color corrections. So we're going to start from scratch here, so I'm going to delete both of those. I'm going to come over here to color, color correction, go down to color board, go to exposure. Now you're going to go over here and pick show video scopes. Now you can see the video scopes here, which actually I'm going to make it easier so that you guys can see this. We're going to go to no, Luma, Luma, on the waveform, yes. So, we're going to, as you can see, you want your highlights close to 100 and your shadows close to zero. So I'm gonna take these, I'm going to bring them closer to 100. You can see these are the peaking parts right here. I'm gonna bring this down closer to that. And you can see, as I pull it down, it directly affects the image. Like if I go this far down, this far up. But you see it's peaking down here, and you really don't want that. Even though this looks like a nice image, we can make it look better if you don't do that. I'm going to take the midtones and bring it down some. Yeah, it's going to bring the whole image down. Of course, you could boost the saturation. It looks like a pretty good image right there, right? Yeah, it does. But we want to add a special correction to that. So, what you could do is you could come over here and add the till and orange, and bam, it looks just like this other clip right here. Yep, looks perfect. And you can adjust it here and here but we're actually going to create it with the color correction tool ourselves so that you know how it works and the way it works is by bringing the I believe it's shadows to the teal right now I'm just gonna to go to the aqua and the highlights closer to the orange and as you see it replicates what we were doing of course you have to make some finer adjustments by bringing the shadows down some, bringing the highlights, I think the highlights are fine, bringing midtones down. And as you can tell, it looks just the same as this one over here. If it's too much, of course you could bring down some of the saturation, or you could boost the saturation and end up bringing down some of the colors. Like you could bring down the colors like this if you don't want it too much. And that is one easy way to color correct yourself. And this way it actually gives you a better variety and makes sure that you can actually edit stuff fully yourself. Like if you want a little bit of the midtones to the green, you want to take away some green, you want it to be red. Or boom, 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 boom course if you don't know how to color correct then you don't have to mess with any of that but let's say it's just two orange down here and you're just like oh I'm gonna bring down some of this yellow right here and look perfect and so that's an easy way to color correct and also easy way to use the teal and orange thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video add a like subscribe and comment if there's any other tutorials you want me to make thank you for watching